On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. I went and miss a life of the greatest. Trust me, when you lose a loved one, that is when you understand the importance of life. When you lose someone that is close to you, when a mother loses a child, when a father loses a child, when a sister loses a brother, when an aunt loses a nephew, trust me, close-knitted families, whether them they on the wrong side or the right side of things, you're going to feel that to your core. Now, as you can see on your screen, strolling through the streets of Mobile, Top Road to be exact, now, Mobile has been deemed the tourism hub of our country. This should have been a place of peace and tranquility where tourists can come, enjoy our lush greenery, the panoramic views from their hotel balconies, enjoying our beaches and our incredible nightlife. But because of the hoodlums, the old would-be gangsters and on the spot news media would call them the old dirty corner boy them. This is not a reality. Mobe is now the hub of death and destruction. Now, in recent times, I would have done some blogs on the feud between the six members. We are talking about Salt Spring and other areas. Where there has been a split in the six camp. And I'm not just speaking about the artist that falls under the six label. We are talking about Salt Spring badness. Six badness. Splitting a two. I don't have the time to go back through all of that. So for those who is not already caught up with this story. When you can go back and watch them blog here. And get a feel of everything. What go on. So as we all know, Shabdan and Squash split. Even though them a play it off and make it seem like everything good and everything alright. The average Jamaican, the average Montegonian know better. Now the last two casualties of that war come from Green Pan. Because you know say from Salt Spring split. Green Pan I got also split. Because Shabdan control one set of the man them. Squash control another set. Now the latest casualties is presently on your screen. Now this one on your screen goes by the name of O'Neill. And this one on your screen goes by the name of Diddy. No, that name Diddy definitely rings a bell to on the spot news media. So I'm going to make checks to see if it is the same Diddy that rings a bell in on the spot news media's mind. No, that would be a whole nother blog by itself. So now my peeps, that ongoing war between Squash and Shabdan is spilling over into other communities. And these young men keep putting their lives on the line. For men who some of them don't even know personally. But they might take up the war and I fight it. And ending up losing their lives. And their family members are left with that heavy burden. With funeral cost. And the loss of a loved one to bear. Now on your screen I'm going to share a message with you. Apparently penned by the sister of one of the men that lost his life, courtesy of the old dirty corner boy them last night out of Green Pan. Now, this goes on to say, my brother, him really gone, 
God. No, no, no. I only have cloudy memories left of you and I'm holding on to the happy ones. Always listening out for you to come home and say, Hey, Big Ed, Wagwan. Sadly, yesterday was the last time I've heard those words coming from your lips. God knows you were fighting a difficult battle. We all knew, but mommy fought it with you the entire time. Props to her for being the best mom anyone could ever ask for. And happy birthday to her too. God realized you could not have fought anymore. He realized mommy couldn't have dealt with it anymore. So he did what was best. The demons took control of you, but you refused to fight back. But God kept you firm in the process. It pained my heart to say R.I.P. and not happy birthday to my one and only brother. But at least you are in a better place. My best friend, troublemaker brother, R.O.D., etc. Really sad. Because this family member, this sister, apparently loves her brother. But while she loved her brother, she was being honest about the type of person or the type of life he lived. She clearly stated that the demons took you over and you refused to fight back. Hence that is saying to us that he lived a life of crime and his demise would have been because of the life he lived. Now, none of the two persons that passed is no saints, no halo over their heads or white wings on their backs. But nevertheless, they are family members of some of us, regular members of Jan Public. And those family members love them regardless. So when or at what point are we going to understand that war does not end well for anybody or anyone? When are the young men of Western Jamaica going to understand that the war that they are fighting is really not theirs to fight? When are they going to drop arms and say to Squash or say to Ramos, or say to Shabdan, listen, a fool war, uno fight it. If any one of you young men are brave enough, but then again it may take a collective effort to achieve same. So young men of Montego Bay, fall back, drop arms, and say to your bosses who are overseas living lavishly, and those in Jamaica living lavishly that listen, a fool no war. So uno take up all the arms you want to buy Gui and go and go knock it and clap it off of each other. Do that. And then uno would have say Montego Bay can easily return to its former glory. And peace and tranquility would reign amongst everyone. Shabdan is somewhere in Jamaica living his best life. I'm pretty sure he's not out there on the battlefield with any of you. Squash is over there in the United States of America, living large and lavishly. He's not on the battlefield with any of you. Ramos is also in the United States of America, living his best life, and he's not on the battlefield with any of you. So why take up a fight? That is not yours. What? You want to be a top lieutenant? You want to be the favorite soldier like Raymond and Jamon said? You want to be like Annex? You want to be like Fatted? Trust me, none of that no makes sense. Because all is going to happen to you is that you're going to either go six feet under or get 35 to life. You will not 
attain the rank of number one because the number one spot is already taken and those men are the ones that are living lavishly providing you the regular youths the soldiers upon the streets with the straps figure take each other life so that one of them can be the victor and you will always remain the victim whether it be your dead or your sentence to life in prison wise up young men of western jamaica and put down arms and say to your leaders go fight your war your flipping self now the two young men will lose for them three pints one is just 19 years old and the other one today is his 21st birthday he died the night before his earth strong the man them take away him ticky and make him get a rang bang and as on the spot news media has always said that the young men in jamaica especially western jamaica are slowly becoming an endangered species women on the soon no have no man right and now have to go double up yeah man i saw the thing said because all of the younger generation them now live for each age 30 if them pass that trust me a buck ups and the thing real sad to see where jamaica badness boiled down to youths and youths wise and stay alive preservation of life for 2022 many are indeed call but the chosen are few anyway my peeps remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man